what's going on guys this is Chris back with another video in this video I'm excited the reason you should stick around and watch this video is because of this guy right here if you don't recognize this reel here's what you need to do you need to go down in the description box below check out the two video links that I have set up for this reel you're gonna want to watch those videos before you watch this one because I'm gonna catch a fish on this reel probably more than just one but the quick and short story about this reel is I actually got this reel off a dock in a park that me and Josh visited one day we found this reel and it was absolutely covered in barnacles like head to toe looks completely different than it did now I'm gonna throw up some pics right now of what it looked like I found a fishing reel that could potentially be a gem. Hey, stay tuned because I'm going to restore this bad boy. I got a YouTube series on it too. Brand new, this reel retails for $150. So let's see if we can get it back to new. You can see just how bad of a condition that this reel was in. And we actually restored it a little bit. Well, all we really did do was actually clean the reel out and then just put some uh, lubrication on it some grease uh, in the handle and on the drag system I have it's other than that it's completely original I haven't changed any parts on it as you can see the bale system there is in really really rough condition but I want to see if I can catch a fish on it before I go and throw some money in and fixing it so that is the main reason you should watch this video the other reason is we're actually using a different kayak than I normally use today I'm using a topwater 120 PDL system um, this is actually a later series Old Town kayak so it'd be uh, they still sell this exact model but now they're I believe they're changing it to the sportsman 120 uh, PDL but I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box below. Josh was kind enough to let me uh, use this kayak. It's actually his. And I've only ever spent like four minutes on the kayak. So today I'm gonna see how well it actually fishes. It's definitely the best kayak in its specific price point. All right, so enough about the kayak. I know you guys wanna see the barnacle reel in action. This is actually a Shimano Bait Runner 4000 series. So I'm hoping to get on some snook redfish Maybe a little bit of trout, but uh, probably more snook redfish. This is gonna, I got my two other poles back there. Those are just backups in case this uh, reel decides to crap out on me. So you may be asking yourself, Chris, why did you put fluorocarbon line uh, on that reel when typically you use braid? Well, the reason being is if you check this out right here, this roller bearing here, the piece that kind of keeps it connected is all corroded. I mean, it's really, really bad. So if you didn't know braid, whenever it rubs on something like rock or something that's really abrasive, it'll break right away, like instantaneously. Fluorocarbon, it can rub on this all day long. Well, not all day long, but it can rub on this a lot more than braid and it can withstand that. So I decided to put fluorocarbon on here just in case the line actually fell off the roller bearing and hit that especially while fighting a fish which actually already fishing it when i cast it just like so at the end of the cast when i flip my bail back over if you can see the line actually doesn't go sit on the roller bearing it sits over here where it's not supposed to so what i have to do is every time i cast and i close the bail i have to take the line and just put it back on that roller bearing really no big deal I mean, for a reel that was in the ocean for probably a month or two, it's actually astonishing that this thing even works. And right now it works really, really well, uh, other than that bail system there. I put this reel on my seven foot, two inch medium fast action rod uh, by Toadfish. Thought it'd be a nice little combo. Got some backbone on it in case we run into those uh, big snook that we're looking for and this 4000 series should have more than enough drag josh is throwing the cast net off the kayak first time is that six foot a good size or too too big that would be impossible with the pdl drive all right guys so what i was afraid of happening did happen whenever i was casting the line uh got twisted somewhere and uh basically got cut so we're gonna have to re-rig and um yeah go from there 
sucks, but can't say I didn't think that that was going to happen. Josh is hooked up on a good one, guys. Redfish? No, they haven't. Nice fish, bro. Nice fish, nice fish. Beautiful. Woo! Nice, Josh. <laughs> Heck yeah. Guys, he plumped the snot out of that. Now I Yes, I'm hooked up. Now they're gone. On the bait runner. That's my first bait runner fish. I had my drag locked down. I didn't know how it would respond. Here guys, let's go over to, uh, they're feeding out here, dude. Yeah, they're right there feeding on stuff. So that means there's a bunch of bait and stuff here. Nice snook. Ooh, he got up on that leader. Yeah, he choked it. Dude, first fish on the bait runner. And it worked actually uh, pretty flawlessly. Let me get this out and I'll uh, help you out. Whoa. I got a bungee, actually. Check that out guys. First fish on the bait runner. There she yeah. is. Let's let her go. Hooked up! No. Yeah. Nice snook too. Woo! Oh, he's jumping in the boat. Oh, came off right at the boat. Well, we got him in. We could probably get one more out of that. Nice snook. Hey, right here. Oh, he just spit it off. I just retied. Now I got to retie again. Unfortunately, guys, I ran out of a 25 pound liter. So I'm only using 20. And they are getting up on my leader, boy. Keep having to retie. But I do not want to lose that Mogan. All right, guys, so Josh is catching some really nice redfish. We're going to go ahead and switch over to a gulp, get that nice scent going, see if we can uh, nab a couple ourselves. Man, I want to catch a big redfish on this reel. Nice one. Oh, hooked up. Yep. Good, good fish, guys. Good fish. Yes. Oh, it's a good one too, Josh. Think so.
Dude, good fish, Josh. Oh yeah, good fish. No, dude, he barely touched it. Yeah. Oh, he's a good one. On the barnacle reel, dude. On the freaking barnacle reel. Nah, he's hooked pretty good. Get, let me get a drink real quick look at that guys red gold dang that's beautiful he is beautiful right now josh man all right guys let's let this red go yes sir he was ready freaking the bait runner barnacle reel performing just like it's brand new practically i mean Minus the bail system. We're good. Caught us a nice red, caught us some snook. Let's catch some more. Well guys, unfortunately I just broke off on another nice redfish, I think, up in these uh mangroves. But man, let me just talk about the Shimano bait runner a little bit. I am extremely impressed with this reel for the condition that it was in. Like I said, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go watch them. They're all going to be in the description box below, and you'll know why I'm so amazed at how well this reel is actually performing. It was covered in barnacles, absolutely destroyed. I mean, I thought the internals would need a lot of cleaning and stuff like that, but I didn't even open up the inside of this reel at all. I just took the handle off, put some real butter on it, and took the spool off and put some real butter on it as well. And it's catching actual fish like legitimate fish so if i can get a bail system for this shimano bait runner i think it's will practically be a brand new reel leave a comment down below what do you guys want me to do with this uh this bait runner you want to see some more content on it as far as me maybe upgrading the handle and the bail system and really making it a fully functioning reel or do you want me to give it away maybe i'll give it away leave a comment down below what do you guys want to see done with the shimano bait runner i'll be very curious to hear your responses well hey let's get re-tied up and try and get us on some more fish all right guys that is going to do it for today's video we are practically out in a miniature hurricane i hope you can hear one thing i'm saying but we caught some fish on the shimano bait runner that we cleaned up or restored if you will so Leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see? <laughs> I see what you're doing now. I didn't even notice what you were doing until right now. Around you, man. What are you talking about? Ridiculous. Hey, leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see with the Shimano bait runner? We could do a lot more con content with it. Hey, we went out in the Old Town Topwater PDL. Uh, it's definitely nothing like the kayak Josh is in, but it's a fishing machine. So I had a good day overall. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, comment down below and subscribe for more. Peace guys.